So you guys are going to try this one. And while you're doing it, I mean, I'll make the table and the graph, and then we, we can compare them. But again, the, the process is essentially the same. All right, so let, let's go ahead and get these values on. I can't put negative 214 just because the graph, again, is too small. But negative 18, that's okay. Right there. We got uh, 0, 4. And we got 1, 2. 2. Now, the other thing here is we got 2, 2 right here. Okay. Now, what this means is that if we look, in fact, I'm going to zoom in here on the graph. Okay, just between these two points. Now, why am I focused on these two points? Because they're right next to each other, but they're essentially across from each other. So right in between is where we're going to say that's the line of reflection is. Um, that's, uh, um, let me see how I want to word this. That is where the tip should be. Okay, so you see how down here at the bottom that the x, it, the the orange point has a y value, x value that's 1. The blue point has an x value that's 2. So the tip has to be right here in the middle at uh, 1.5. Okay, 1.5. Somewhere in there. Now, we don't have to actually figure out where that is right now. Um, and as far as I can see, you shouldn't see anything quite like this on canvas. So this is kind of a random example. But we should see that we have a line of reflection there. I guess I'll use red. Right in between these points, okay? So I'm only putting this line here to show that that's where things reflect with this U or parabola, whatever you want to call it. So where the green is about one and a half way to the left, we should have another one, one and a half to the right. And same with the purple as well, it's two and a half, so two and a half to the right. So that, that's kind of how I'm making this graph. Where exactly is the tip? I don't really, I really don't care right now, but in the future you will, okay? So let's see if we can, see if we can put this down, right? So something like this. Uh, yeah, that's better. And again, where does that, where does that actually tip at? I don't know. Pretend like my drawing is good though. Something like this, okay? Now, even though this is not really on the assignment, I still want you guys to see that the method is the same, right? Whether you use, whatever the equation looks like, you can always use table method to graph. Um, but this, this reflection thing is, is kind of crucial. And for the next problem, we're going to see that it's also important, if we can see, especially on a graph, where the lines, where parabola goes through, uh, through the x-axis is important. We'll, we'll get to that. But... If we could have, I would have, I, I was kind of looking in the beginning to see if this equation or this trinomial could be factored. It can't. And th this goes back to what we learned about polynomials. Not that I think a lot of us remember that far back, but I remember this, this polynomial, this one can't be factored. The re what this is essentially telling us is that it's not going through the x-axis, okay? Meaning that there's no, it, they're called roots when the parabolas go through this x-axis stuff. Um, this one doesn't have any, which is why this cannot be factored. I don't know. I, that's not really just kind of a random factoid because we're going to need that information on the next one.